Analytics will be all invasive and omnipresent across functions. Retail, financial services, insurance, telecom, mostly B2C space has traditionally been in the forefront of usage. Similarly, front office functions like sales, marketing, customer acquisition, churn, etc. have seen more advanced usage of analytics. This will widen now across industry verticals and the back office functions like finance, HR, procurement, and of course, manufacturing and production through Internet of Things. Better visualization will be a key driver to widen this analytics footprint and its usage. It will move across from being utilized by just the top management to the middle and lower management. Bringing business context to life will be a very key focus area. The focus will be on driving key business metrics and operational metrics, and it is not just productivity. The focus will be on driving measurable outcomes. It could be a top line, it could be enhancing margins, it could be improving cash flows, or anything else which improves the customer satisfaction or even a regulatory compliance, which is playing a major role these days in various parts of the world. Here, domain will play a very important role. So understanding the client business is extremely important as that is what will bring context to life. Analytics will move from rear view to a futuristic view, right? As the ability to bring data together and the cost of man managing larger chunks of data improves, the focus will be on moving from the past to the present to forecasting the future and imp uh, improving the accuracy of the future predictions. The focus will be on what will happen rather than what already happened. This will push the frontiers of creating new data inputs using, uh, again, the Internet of Things, etc. Time to derive insights will shrink, and this is very logical. This will be driven by the declining cost of managing data, cloud, etc plays a big role here. Increasing pool of people as uh, a shortage of people restricts the usage. Now as the pool of people increase, there'll be more analytics used. And of course, the machines are getting more and more powerful. Heavy automation of repetitive rule-based work will be a huge lever in driving analytics because as this brings in the whole AI and machine learning concepts to life. Uh, so you will have more and more usage in real life of what theory we read in terms of AI and machine learning. And this will result in massive productivity and uh, changes and lower process exceptions. Standardization and harmonization of processes will be very, very important part of adoption of AI. People have to learn new things. Uh, people have to move towards adopting analytics as a key source of inputs. At the same time, people also have to retrain themselves to, uh, to drive analytics in their organizations. This is a huge part of unlearning and relearning new things. And that's a very fundamental part of how analytics will get adopted worldwide.